the Poison Stone, subtitled, And the Whistling. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress Caroline, would you please begin our story? Sure. Not too long ago, there was an evil witch who loved to torment people. And one day she thought, I shall make scones. <laughs> right. I shall make these scones, but most of them will be fine. But two of them, I will put this very little poison in, and I will mix them up so you don't know which ones to do. <laughs> oh. oh. So, she got out her cookbook and decided to make the most delicious scones. Then she got out from her medicine cabinet a little vial of deadly poison. The poison would not kill, but it would make somebody be able to speak only in puns for the rest of their life. Fort. <laughs> 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 Fortunately, said witch was very absent-minded and forgot completely that she had run out of said po potion and replaced it with ink. Ew. Having put ink in two of her scones, it was clear that they were different from the others, and she pondered on how she would hide the difference. And at that point, she decided maybe there's no point because they'll just think, well, maybe those are blueberry scones or, or chocolate scones or something, and that's why they're dark. And, and maybe that will make people want even more to eat those scones, and my plan will succeed anyway. However, she didn't really consider that... She hadn't really considered what people might want to eat. So she made such a variety that the two most unique ones would probably go to somebody greedy for the only two that were different. <laughs> Therefore, she made sure that she kind of placed them off to one side and the other to make them look more enticing in the center of this entire platter of scones. It was a dark and stormy night <laughs> when she set forth to the market fair, the better to entrap her victims. <coughs> Always get a professional. <laughs> Thank you. And she went forth to the fair and had her minions set up her booth. <laughs> Noisy minions. <laughs> and she put the scones out. And she gestured hypnotically again. And all the people came around. Scones. <laughs> People greedy for scones and to spend their little farthings came around and who should be at the front of the crowd? But Master John Inchingham. <laughs> Famous lover of scones. <laughs> and so he promptly ate the scone. But unfortunately, the first bite he took ink, the purplish ink, salad, his, his spit became purple, and it looked like he was foaming with purple mouth, and people around him thought, oh, a rabbit baron! <laughs> what do we do with rabbit barons? What do we do with rabbit baron? What do we do with rabbit baron? What do we do with rabbit baron? What do we do with a rabbit baron? <laughs> That's all on you. <laughs> so the rabid baron decided there are no barons like me. And there shall be no barons like me. Because I'm the only one frothing at the mouth. So, so with purple froth dripping from his <laughs> from his jaws. <laughs> he, he, he wandered around the market. You could follow his progress by the screams of the populace. <laughs> and of course, if you were a little late, the drips of purple on the ground. And as he went, he um, shouted out things 
And being as it was um, Baron Inchingham, he was, most of the things he said were humorous, but they were puns. And as he walked, he decided that he was going to devour all the barons. And so they tried to stop him. They tried to stop him by spearing him. They tried to stop him by hitting him with bad music. And so they found out that he was a one-eyed, one-horned, trumping purple people baron. <laughs> <laughs> out the famous philosopher Ugo Macini who had been searching for one of these creatures all of his life set out to catch the Baron <laughs> so he made some cunning traps to take along with him and he got on his horse and wagon and the flying purple people Baron fell into the trap and he yeah. went down 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 until he wasn't anymore Oh, and everybody cried. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. But being, of course, the intrepid Baron Inchingham, he appeared suddenly on his throne. <laughs> no longer frothing. Oh, oh. Although wearing a distinctive purple outfit. <laughs> and gave his approval to the chaos. <laughs> and he called for his pipe, <laughs> and he called for his bowl, and he called for his platter of pancakes, <laughs> piled high with purple lingonberries. <laughs> and he saw that it was good, and said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> You have morals? I Very good. Yes. <laughs> Tell us of them. That if you spend some money in a storm, you do not get a scone, you get a purple frothing gale.